virtual field trip. Woohoo! Yes! Alright, well on our field trip we're going to be learning about natural resources. Now some of them are renewable and others are non-renewable. So let's get started. Mr. E, look at that huge tree. Wow, that is a big tree. Not thinking about trees, can we use trees for anything in our lives? Yeah, to build houses and other buildings. That's right. We can, now, can we make our own trees to, for those things? Well, we can plant trees, but we can't actually make a tree. That's right. So, that makes trees a natural resource since they come from the earth. And we can, since we get more of them, it's a renewable natural resource. Do we need water to survive? Of course. We need, we need to drink lots of water. That's right. We need water to survive, and it comes from the earth. So it is a natural resource. Can we get more water after we use it? Yeah, like when it rains. That's right. The water cycle helps to replenish our water supply, so it is a renewable natural resource. Can we jump in the water? Sure. Yay! Yay! We're underwater. I can't swim. I can't breathe. Relax, relax, Alondra. It's a virtual field trip. We're not actually underwater. All right, do you guys see anything down here that humans made? Well, I have a pet fish, and it looks like these fish. So did I make these fish down here? No, no, no. You didn't make these fish. Fish, fish come from other fish when they lay eggs. And as long as they have a healthy environment to live in, they will continue reproducing. So that makes them renewable resources? That's right. Fish are a source of food, and they come from the earth. So they are a natural resource. And like you said, since the, we can get more, they are a renewable resource. Let's keep moving before Alondra drowns. It's dirty down here. I think I know what this is. It's coal. That's right. We're in a coal mine. Coal can be used for energy. Like a train? That's right. Trains use, use coal to create heat and produce energy to run. We have more efficient ways to make trains go now, but coal is still used to create energy. So where did this dirty stuff come from? Great question. Coal, much like fossil fuels, takes millions of years to form. Dead plants and animals get covered with mud, and then over time, they, they continue to be covered with more and more layers of soil. And the pressure and heat slowly turns that coal, or turns that into coal and fossil fuels. Whoa, that must really take a long time. So that means they are non-renewable natural resources, right? You got it. I think you guys are getting the idea. Let's head back to class. All right, class, let's review what you just learned about natural resources, and then you can get ready to make your own video to show what you have learned. Yes!